At Zero Risk, we run some incredibly in-depth, high-risk courses. Could you survive in a hostile environment? Run, 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 Four and means papier. Papers, papers. Papers. Papers, papers. Do you speak English? Do you want a challenge? Do you want to really push yourself outside that comfort zone? Get on with it, stay now! Go, go, go. go, come We've on, We've got a go. job to do. You're going to feel lonely, okay? But you need to start lifting your game. We'll get you out of here. One way or the other, we'll get out of here. It's about your mind, okay? Focus on your mind. Just imagine you're in the office, nice little fluffy zone that you're in. You're about to clock off at five o'clock. What we call it is a dislocation of expectations. And all of a sudden, you're rudely interrupted by a series of gunmen. We put you down, we ruffle you up. You've got no idea what's going on. We throw you in the back of a car. We give you the full-blown hostage deal. And then you're ours for 48 hours. You've got two minutes to make a move. You're right out. Come on, think about it. You're going to have to start making some key critical decisions straight away. Where are you? Should you stay or should you go? So when we hit the river, we turn left. You're on the money, let's go. Draw on your team, okay? Ask if they're okay. Ask if there's any particular concerns, reservations. How are they feeling? Are we going to make it? Lift the morale. We've landed in the middle of nowhere here, and we're all a bit scared. That's so all we've got on us is the gear that we have. Our mission is to get out. This GPS has waypoints. I need to work out how to use it completely. If someone knows how to use it, shout. OK, you're looking for leeches and ticks. You will not be given any food for the next 48 hours, OK? You will forage and collect your own food. What's the first thing you'd be looking for, as far as survival is concerned? Shelter, protection, what else is there? Come on. Shelter, protection, yeah. water. No. Shelter, protection, F word. F. Fuel. No. F. Food. No. Fire! Gotcha. Okay, go. On our courses, we'll teach you how to take a bearing on a GPS, how to actually report your position from where you are, how to relay information and communicate that information. I'm looking for three grid references, at least. 007, it's my James Bond escape. Go for it. Where am I? Yeah, where are you? Who am I? Yeah. What do I need? Yep. Yeah. We're coming into um, civilised territory. We do not know if they're hostile. But we could well get ambushed here. Guys, if we say move, then move all as one, okay? Let's go! If I threw a rabbit at you right now, what are you going to do? Would you know how to kill it? Would you know how to snare it? Would you know how to skin it? Does it just peel off? Yep. Yeah, 12 hours ago I was a sort of insurance broker and I was doing a deal in Chicago, or well, whenever it was, I can't even remember what hours it was now. Then suddenly I'm in a situation where it's sort of simulated life and death and I've got to go and look after myself. You and me are going to stick together. Are yeah. you my friend or my foe? I'm your friend. Are you sure? I promise. Yeah? Yeah, I promise. I promise. Right. I'm relying on you, man. It's dark. There are a number of items. Now, it's up to you to pick the items up and have a discussion amongst yourselves, okay? But I'm going to time you. And it's literally going to be three minutes for you to actually decide which eight items that you can have to take with you. We've got one. Yeah, agreed? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shelter. These are our cotton wool buds. They help start the fire. We need fire. That's absolutely key. When you get there, time's yours, okay? I'm not going to tell you how long you're going to have, but I would utilise that time as best you can. Don't waste a single second. The biggest worry here is not finding the location that we're looking for. All I'm going to say is just stand by for a surprise. Yep. And two. One. And two. We've got a dead rabbit in the back, so I just hope a shark doesn't get hungry. One. And two. We're in this together. Yeah, your job is to look after me, my job is to look after you and get you there. One. And two. One, two. The aims of the course 
are to really stretch you to the limit, to push you beyond the limit. It's going to be quite real. I'm not looking forward to this. This will be your compass bearing that you'll be using. This is a dive computer that will come up and tell you what your times are and where your safety limits will be. The middle one will give you your air. We're going to be starting with about 240 bar. Yeah. We expect to finish the dive around 50 bar. Yeah. That should give us between 45 minutes an hour of time at a depth of approximately 10 to 15 meters. It's, a, it's another test really to uh, find out somebody's mental stability and uh, agility as well. And to find out whether they can actually push through certain things and take themselves to the next level. One second, I'll be with you. I figured there may be snorkeling, I figured there may be a boat, but I just didn't anticipate the diving. And I've never dived before. So, have I dived at night? No. Um, and uh, I would rather take anything in the air than anything in the sea. But anyway, this is what this is about. So it's, um, yeah. Yeah, it's time to get, it's time to get. It's just really important that we actually take him through this now and uh, make sure that, uh, that he grows, grows in confidence and grows in strength as well. There's, there's no safe, if you know what I mean. There's no safe. Get it wrong and you're in trouble. And again? Mm. Okay, you okay with that? Mm. You okay? I'm good. Be him, I? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Good. So, just relax. Okay. okay. We've got a mission to do. We've got to get over to that particular part over there. Yep. And then we'll do it. Going to the surface, a nice rule to remember, do not move faster than the bubbles that are floating next to you. What's going to happen is you're going to start tapping into your own set of emotions where we're going to look at your physical attributes whether you're going to be fit enough for god damn it why did the lights have to go now we're going to look at emotional side of things whether at the end of the day that you're at tipping point early on we'll teach you how to actually have coping mechanisms to deal with that there is no giving up whatever it takes whatever it takes we're also looking at stress as well on your body, and just exactly how you're coping with yourself throughout this particular process. You're on the timing. Doesn't matter what it takes, fella. You will succeed. Don't worry about it. We're looking at psychological issues are you a certain person, a certain model? Would you like to actually push it a bit so you can become another certain person? A bit more stronger, a bit more resolute, a bit more kind of a, a leader. But once I got it and got going, and as you get mission critical, it's like everything else disappears. <laughs> and I still haven't found what I'm looking for. Just slow down, Justin. Just, just cru really cruise, okay? So we just go look. Um, look, I'm not really reading them at the moment. He's um, really kind of throwing up a bit of a smoke screen. 
Uh, he's pretty happy, you know, yeah, 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 he's pretty happy with what he's doing. But we have to take him out of that particular comfort zone, stop. Okay, and what we need to do is increase the weight in his backpack. You've got to go through certain pain, okay? And if, if at the end of the day he's actually walking along as if it's a Jolly Boys outing or whatever it is, then there's something not really right, okay? So as far as we're concerned, what we have to do is we have to just apply a bit more pressure, okay? So it just weighs him down a bit more. We know for a fact there's another, probably about 4K to go from here to the end of the track. Just, just pull over. Take your rear rucksack off, okay? And put that one in there, okay? And that one in. Get one, get one of them. Not to my friends. Only to be with you. Only be with you. He slowed right down. We've actually loaded more up on him. Slowed right down. Cheers, mate. Right. Well, I reckon he's got about 32 kilos of weight on his back. He is so resilient it's just like it's like packing uh, a person with uh, 12 volt batteries up his ass and he just carries on going he's got this incredible stamina which i've never seen before i know that they're here to try and push to break me i know that i know that that's what it's about i know that this is training i'm drinking it in i really am i'm i'm drinking this in this is absolute gold i mean there's no other way of describing it it's beautiful both of you got to go down, but only one of you needs to carry this cup. The waterline has to be between these two marks here. Situation, mission, execution, administration, command and control. Shmia, get that into your head. Be clear about your leadership skills. Be clear about your decision making. Take others with you. Don't leave people behind. Moment of truth. We begged, we borrowed, <laughs> and we stole. The water level Let's do is, it. is actually there. It's done it. It's in between. Yay! Well done, team. <laughs> well done, team. <laughs> well done. <laughs> that was so good. The thing about protecting yourself is you've, you've got to be aware of what's happening around you. Weapons can be improvised or concealed in many ways. For example, a handful of coins in a sock. Yeah, it makes a, a great weapon, anything heavy. And if you've got any bushly tendencies, you know, you can use this as you know, a pair of nunchucks, okay? Now, magazines, you always think magazines can be a weapon, but feel how hard this hits. That magazine is filled with coins. You can buy belt buckles like this. Yeah. Okay, and if I pull it out. <laughs> <laughs> See? Punch with it. Toothbrush, okay. Toothbrush, you can sharpen it. Okay. If I take a sharpen toothbrush, sharpen ballpoint pen, I just punch it through, it goes right through. This is just a normal bowie. If I cut it like that, cut through the bone, see how the bone splintered. What would you do with your arm if your bone splinters like this? You're finished. Exactly. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stab you in the face. Yeah. You're gonna to try to block it. Okay. But I'm gonna do it fast. Okay, you ready? Oh, okay. Jesus Christ. That, did it hurt? It didn't hurt. <laughs> I'm getting your adrenaline up. The way I would suggest that you hold the stick is like this. You've got something like, you know, this, this sharp and this fast. Good, nice. Oh, nice. See the power? The next one, this is the hook. It's got power. Good. Good again. Good again. That's actually knockout power. Good. Jab hook. Cross. It's almost intuitive. instinctive. It's intuitive. Good. So that's it. Good again. Good again. Yeah. Uh, stand by. Stand no, by. that's okay. Stop, stop, stop. Yeah. Doesn't matter yeah. what the weapon is. It was just really nice to see somebody uh, that fatigued and that uh, emotionally and, and psychologically stressed still be able to be open-minded and do the, do the moves. We'll do. <laughs> so that's kind of okay. cool. Okay. That is actually kind of cool. Okay, so. Very cool. Usually you put somebody through that. Uh, a lot of ego comes out, but n none of that ego came out. Beautiful. Thank you well done. very much. <laughs> very good. And it was really good. I mean, I, I, I could see myself 
trying to get out of trouble with a plastic bag. I couldn't see myself doing it with a nunchucker. I mean, these are these are day-to-day -day things. So you're not having to carry around a deadly weapon, but you can actually defend yourself. So it's nice to have a, one or two skills up there. What we'll do is we'll get you in the, the life raft. Once you're in and you're floating, we're going to tow you out a certain distance. They've got me to a point where I'm tired now. They've got me to a point where I'm physically worn down and uh, they want to get to my head. That's what's going to happen. They're going to go for my head. The aim for you yep. is obviously to experience isolation, but keep your mind busy. Mm -hmm. That's probably the best way of doing things, mm -hmm. to stay sane. Oh, it's so bloody cold. Reflect on the last 36 hours. Look at the good points, the bad points where you could have done things better and more importantly how they are going to assist you for not only this project but for later stages in life. It's a lonely old place and when he's tired he's still going to have to stay alert with no particular physical activity, with nothing at all around it, with no stimulation, that's going to be really, really hard. I've been um, yeah, confronted. Uh, in, in a number of areas. I'm being asked to reflect on every component of my life here. I'm hoping against hope that you've actually realised the significance and the importance of this training. It is an absolute life-changing experience. It's up to you to embrace that and run with it. And our instructional team, who are extremely professional and second to none, will get you there. Let us take you on that journey. I'm not your friend. If you're not too happy with what's going on, you say safe to me or one of the instructors. Right. And you're at the game.